Hey guys, Armagun here. Gonna try and contain my excitement today because I'm gonna be talking about the Bushmaster ACR. And usually, usually when I'm excited, I get talking a little bit too fast. So I'm gonna try and dial it back. This gun here, I, I bought this a couple years ago as a, as a birthday present to myself. I mean, and that's, I'm gonna argue that's not lame. It's just a rationalization to buy another gun. That's really, that's really what it comes down to. Um, but uh, nonetheless, I've got this gun kitted out very differently then it came out of the box. This is very much so my personalized gun. I shouldn't say personalized, it doesn't have my name on it or anything like that, but I did uh, kind of source a bunch of individual parts and I'll talk about those really quickly, but not too quickly because this is the intro and much like I did with the APC-308 gun, uh, where, I, where I had a video dedicated to just swapping out components and showing it in different configurations. I'm gonna do the same with this gun here because this gun is also very modular. And despite Bushmaster releasing this gun with the promise of a bunch of caliber conversion kits and different lowers and stuff, and then failing to follow through with that, now this gun has a somewhat like cult following, um, and, and, it's, and it's got aftermarket support now by some, some solid companies that are doing great stuff, um, such as KRG, who they do like really, really high-end like PRS uh, rifles and things like that, and a lot of kit for those chassis and, and whatnot. They did this telescopic stop for this thing, and I, I do have a couple beefs with it, but at the end of the day, it's still a very nice piece of kit. And I really love that I can run a PDW stock on this gun and get this thing this compact. Again, there's no external buffer like an AR-15 hanging off the end of this thing. So you can shoot this thing with this thing all the way popped in. Um, it comes out of the box with a folding stock, typically, folding or fixed. You can, you can fold that over and shoot it as well. Very versatile gun. A user, at the user level, you can change the barrels. You just pop the handguard off and, and change the barrels. That's pretty cool too. I've got a couple barrels for this thing, so I will demonstrate uh, how you how you change the barrel. And and now these companies are offering more and more uh, kit for this thing. Bushmaster did finally come out and release a 450 Bushmaster kit recently, uh, because who but them should release a caliber conversion with their name in it? Uh, should be done. So that's pretty cool. Firing 450 Bushmaster after this thing is, is pretty neat. Um, so they've they've offered that now. You can get that through your Bushmaster dealer. But the aftermarket community has been, been solid. Te check out Templar Precision. They do a ton of cool stuff. I think they, they do aftermarket lowers. They might even do 760 by 39 by now. I haven't followed, kept up with it really closely. I've had my eye on other guns more recently than this one, but, but uh, I, I took this gun onto the range, did a shooting video and thought, no, let's do the full, let's do the full video set on it. And then we can, uh, sorry, bump my camera there. Then we can get, that, get, that, get this one out there because uh, I, I, I do really like this gun. It is a phenomenal, modular, modern option. And then going forward, handguard. This is an RPM tool. Really nice handguard. My buddy there, he makes these. And uh, it's just it's phenomenal quality. He's very, very fussy about not releasing anything unless it's perfect. And in my opinion, this is just, this handguard is like nicer than the gun itself. Um, you pay, pay a pretty penny for it, but, but it is really, really quality work. Uh, then we've got an Aeronox hook stop. This thing is just, it's great. That guy, he's a machinist in the States. Again, another uh, one-man shop, but he makes amazing kit. And it's, it's both functional and durable, and it looks amazing. Like, his products, I, you put them on a gun to make your gun function better, but also to look better. It's pretty cool. And then, so I've got this gun running right now, the 10.5-inch barrel. I've got a little AAC blast out, blast deflector tucked underneath it. Um, just as their as their blast cage that goes around their their brake or their their flash hider, so I got that. This is just a factory lower. Um, they they've in the later runs they've seemed to have matched the color better. Some of their earlier extrusions, you can tell they're they're doing this coyote brown Cerakote, which is really nice. But then they do the polymer and it's kind of like a bleached out like lighter tan. And if you like the Fifty Shades of FDE kind of look, which I personally do, I definitely definitely all for that. Um, but when I got this gun and it all matched, that kind of kind of made my day, it made my birthday, right? So um, you went so far as to try and track down a matching Coyote Brown magazine for it. So that's about it for this video today. Got a little Geisley trigger in there too. Let's just do a quick uh, drop the bolt here. This thing does have amazing ergonomics, very similar to an XCR, which is my gold standard. Geisley trigger, and it's it's amazing. So ah, that's that's gonna be the that's gonna be the intro, guys. If you want to stick around for my, uh, if you're not a, uh, a loyal viewer that watches my videos right to the end, I'm going to give you a bit of a, a bit of a leg up right here. Uh, typically in these tabletops, I always save a bonus gun for the end. 
I'll bring in just another gun, just give a real quick, like, you know, three sec, five second deal on it. And then that's kind of my treat to those guys that, that stick around to the end. So uh, I will do that again in this video. If you, if you stay and listen to me talk for a few more minutes, but uh, I wanted to say uh, the video series that's going to be following with this shooting video will drop tomorrow, followed by a more complete formal overview, followed by a full disassembly video where I pull everything apart. And then finally, I'll do a kit out video where I just swap parts and show you how this gun looks like in a few different formats. And uh, that's 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 the video. And then as well, check out my description. I'm, I'm making a description pretty pretty comprehensive. I add a technical spec sec section in there as well. Uh, I don't have a weight on this package as it is right now, but I will add a few different weights as I show things in different or configurations. I'll add the other technical specs like the caliber, all that other kind of stuff, the operating system, the length, all that kind of stuff. So just check down there. I will update it as I get more information and, and confirm and validate more things. And then also I'll have a correction section as well if I've said anything wrong, which I do from time to time. So uh, if, you, if you see something and comment on it, by all means, I will, I will add it to the correction section if I need to. So, And then lastly, while you're down there, check out my Instagram. I post there daily. Uh, while I focus on words and information on this channel, on my, on my Instagram and Facebook, Facebook just gets all my Instagram basically ported over to it. So if you prefer Facebook, just go Facebook. But Instagram, I definitely focus on the aesthetic. So that's where I just like to make guns look good. Oh, so, and then if you're still with me here, Patreon. Please uh, put a link right here. Please consider subscribing and, uh, and throwing a few bucks my way. If you, if you like what I do, um, I, I do invest like a lot of my own personal money into all this stuff, and it's only going so far. I really want to start, you know, I want to keep up with this pace with the, with the channel, and I want to keep bringing you guys more and better quality content with better lighting, better cameras. I'm in the process of kind of setting up a studio, um, so I still got to get that kitted out. And then I also want to be able to, to run more ammunition through these guns so I can give you even better, more, you know, more experienced perspective on these guns when I do these videos. So, uh, and then also more, more range videos too, more accuracy videos. It just, it just takes time. It just takes money. So I'm willing to devote the time and, and money as well. But if you guys can, can chip in and help me out on the way, I 100% appreciate that. So, uh, that's my plug now for the bonus gun and apparently bumping the camera again. We've got the Nemo Arms Omen. This is the recon. Holy crap, guys. This is a 300 Winchester. I'm gonna pop my camera out because this gun is a little bit bigger. I got some tools and some other stuff kicking around here too. But man, look at this thing. Gorgeous. This is their older design, uh, older design hand, hand guard, which is, which is cool. But oh man, this thing is, this thing is, this thing is a, a grab. I have an opportunity to shoot this thing once, unfortunately not on camera. I'm just borrowing this gun from a friend and Unfortunately, being a restricted firearm in Canada where I am, I need to take this up to a range and I need a license to a license for this gun, like a certificate for this gun before I can do that. Unfortunately, for the time that I had the gun, that license did not come in. I was not able to do a range video of this gun, but I got some nice pictures of it for my Instagram, as I was mentioning, and I did get a chance to do a tabletop discussion on this gun because I did some research, pulled together some information for those guys of you that are, that are like my channel and want to hear me talk about it. I did that. And I also did a full disassembly because they've got a pretty sweet little um, recoil dampening system in here that they've patented and it's quite, quite slick. So I go over that in additional detail, but just a gorgeous gun. And, and oh man, shooting this thing, like it is, <laughs> whoops, uh, proprietary mags, very, very, actually very nice mags. They don't seem to, well, this one, oh, okay. This is one thing I've noticed with this gun is that the, uh, the magazine release likes to, I think it just needs, I just, it's just not screwed in quite far enough. That's, that's all. It's just, uh, it sometimes it, it drops out. That's simply just a user level thing. And as I bore in the gun, I, I just didn't do anything about it. So, um, but man, really nice gun. The Cerakote, or it's not Cerakote. This is hand anodized. This finish, amazing. Um, I, I think it's the favorite finish I've ever seen. Uh, this, this style of finish. And I like this pattern as well. So new evolution, military ordinance. That's what Nemo stands for. And it's awesome. So hopefully I'll get a chance to get my hands on one of those again that I can actually shoot and offer more perspective on. But until then, that's the show. We're talking about the ACR this week and lots more fun things to come. Probably the Bushmaster, sorry, the Bruger and Tomat B&T APC223. I'll do the SBR 
I did the 308 last week. I'm probably going to do the 223 this week. So I get one more in there before Christmas. That's the show, guys. Much appreciated. Armageddon out.